We hope you enjoyed this journey through some of the weirdest hobbies on our planet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss even more amazing content. W first appearing in the episode, Close Rick Counters of the Rick Kind, Evil Morty emerged as an intriguing character to everyone. He's not just an evil clone, he's one of the countless Morty duplicates from various universes. What makes him interesting is that he operates without a Rick, and he even managed to make his way into politics. This is something no other Morty has done before. Today, we'll explore the story of Evil Morty and some facts you might have missed. Hold up! Before we start, subscribe to our channel and join the notifications. Hitch hobby struck you as the strangest? Share in the comments. Until new meetings and unusual hobbies. What's the story behind this soundtrack? When President Morty turned out to be Evil Morty, we didn't learn about it from his words, but through various signs and the soundtrack accompanying the episode. It was the same song that played during his first appearance on the show. However, you might not know that this song wasn't written for the series. It was actually written for the band Blonde Redhead and their fifth album, Melody of Certain Damaged Lemons, and it was released in the year 2000. This lesser-known song by the rock band was penned 14 years before it made its way into the series. Interestingly, this number coincides with Morty's age. From the Ricks and Mortys who believe in the Citadel to those who don't, you are in the minority, his intelligence, although not stated outright, we all know that President Morty is evil. He is the only Morty who doesn't stutter, and the only Morty who is actually smart. These characteristics were shown only by evil Morty. The other Mortys, while not as dumb as Rick thinks, are clearly not as smart. Evil Morty rose to power in politics with promises of a better life and the elimination of all boundaries between all Mortys and Ricks. Now, all we can do is wait to see what happens next. Parallels to Trump Don't worry, we won't get into politics and take sides. But the fact that Evil Morty is somehow similar to Trump is undeniable. They are both politicians who are in favor of polarizing society, they also have mixed feelings about the public and who won, with few people expecting it. When they were elected, they stated that they were sure they would win, and they knew how to do it right. It wasn't an elaborate move by the writers down to the very details, but it was a political statement nonetheless. Drawing a parallel with our Morty. Of course, Evil Morty is the second most important Morty in the series. This was clear at least from the fact that they have a lot in common. Our Morty now opposes other Ricks much more often than before, he is increasingly resembling Evil Morty. It will be interesting to see how this storyline develops in the fourth season. They are confident. They haven't met before, and it seems that the fourth season is more focused on Morty than on Rick. We just hope that evil Morty won't say, we're not so different after all. We ruled this city even before the council, and we will continue to do so. He could be Rick. One of the fans has put forward a theory that evil Morty might actually be Rick. This is based on the fact that none of the existing Mortys are as smart. Evil Morty exhibits abilities that the other versions do not have, and one of the characters who could be just as cunning is Rick. Do you think Evil Morty could actually be Rick, but with all the technology that Rick has taken, it cannot be ruled out. And we know that Evil Morty's Rick was a cyborg. There is another theory that could confirm this. Silly Rick is Morty. There's only one Rick we know of who is as dumb as a cork. Some fans believe that not only is Evil Morty Rick, but that he swapped brains with Rick to deceive everyone and carry out his plans. The only problem with this theory is that Rick does not recognize Jerry as his father, but on the other hand, with all the technology Rick has invented, perhaps he just did something with his memory. The actor playing him doesn't appear in the credits. Despite the fact that in the episode The Reclantes Mix-Up, the only actor voicing roles was Justin Roiland, only Jeff Davis was listed in the episode's credits. Jeff Davis voiced a short commercial related to the episode. But besides that, he didn't appear anywhere in the episode. 
Despite this, he was the only one who appeared in the credits, while Justin Roiland was not listed anywhere in the credits. It's a small, if not amusing, joke. He completely took over the Citadel. When Rick showed up and declared that he was actually in charge of everything, Evil Morty was not too pleased to hear it. He killed everyone who opposed him. Of course, this is no secret, but we are still curious about what this will mean for the future of the series. Certainly, Morty's part of the control was clear right away. This means that in the future, the entire Citadel will become an enemy or a place that Rick and Morty must liberate, no one knows how this will all end. But we are eagerly awaiting the answers. He might be the real Morty of Rick. Fans of this series have many theories about the real Rick and Morty. And almost all of them agree that the Morty we've been watching all this time is not Rick's real Morty, we also know that the super smart evil Morty remotely controlled evil Rick, and he has no connection with him. We also know that Morty has childhood photos with Rick, which should be unlikely since we know that Rick left the family earlier. Is it possible that evil Morty is Rick's real grandson, and that's why he's depressed all the time? Dan Harmon is in no hurry to refute this theory. He controls his own Rick. We mentioned that evil Morty controls evil Rick remotely. He could do this because he created this system. Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland once stated that evil Morty controlled Rick all the time using a remote control built into his eye patch proof of which we see at the end of the episode. This means that Evil Morty must have turned Rick into a cyborg to fully control him, this means that we know absolutely nothing about Rick and his intentions, as someone else was controlling the entire episode. And that's all for today. What do you think about Evil Morty? And how will he affect the development of the show? Maybe we missed some facts. If so, write to us in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and thank you for watching.